Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Seeketh soul tent. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So <clears throat> the world might be mended. I need to figure out what to upgrade. Now, we were talking about certain weapons to use on the last video, which, by the way, the video is being uploaded right now, or it's in the process of. Um, the thing is, we definitely want vitality to go up. You want that high. It wouldn't hurt so bad to get intelligence, because we did see some spells that we were like, oh, that'd be great to have. Endurance is obviously a given because we are a knight in heavy armor and we're probably more than likely going to find even better heavier armor to wear. Um, so putting the endurance up to help with the stamina and the equip burden is going to be very beneficial. Strength is also another thing that's a given. Uh, Dexterity is also a thing. Certain weapons out there uh, would require our dexterity to go up. So there's that. Magic is also another thing. It'll increase the uh, magic power. Faith is also another thing. We did see a spell or two uh, out of faith that would help us out, including heal. So there's that. Luck, we probably don't have to mess with luck, to be honest, but I don't know. So what I'm thinking is getting vitality to 15 or 20 and then leave it alone until there's a time and point where I just start adding more points into it. But intelligence bringing that up a bit. Uh, I don't know. Let me think. Because there is a way to increase all this. Well, there is a proper way to play this game if you want to make it easier for yourself and mostly it's those builds that you look online where you put points specifically in this area and this area and that's it if you have a, a a melee class build if you have a magic class build a faith class build so on and so forth the way i'm playing this however is an overall general build and we're going to run into issues doing that it's going to make the game a little bit tougher for us so, I need to figure a way to capitalize on certain skills and then while mitigating, while mitigating like everything else that I'm adding to. Because eventually you see the soul, the souls required just to increase one. So, that's, that's a problem. Because as I increase, it's just going to get even more and more and that means I have to kill more and grind more. Um, let me think. I think maybe faith and intelligence will increase will increase it enough until the uh, the memory goes up by two. That's a possibility. I don't know what when it goes up by two though. I don't know if it's like fourteen, level fourteen, or something like that. Let me see. And the spells that we're looking at are mostly supportive. There is a pretty cool faith uh, spell. Uh, shit, let me think. Uh, 
and vitality as well. Increasing that would be beneficial. Shit, man, I gotta, I gotta figure something out here. And then not only that, the spells themselves, whichever, uh, first, whichever ones we're getting, they cost some souls too. So that's another issue. Um. Gotta think, hold up. I could go buy a spell right now, but I'd be limited to just buying the one. Maybe two. Two out of faith or two out of uh, uh, magic or one per. I shall await that As a matter of fact, let's go check. Um, if I was to go get a spell right now. Are you begging? Learn a spell. Uh, if I was to get a spell from you right now, enchant weapon protection. Uh, let's see, demon's prank cloak. This one's a decent one to have. Water veil covers user and water slightly reducing fire damage. Maybe. Protection's a pretty good one. A high-level spell slightly reduces damage taken. Spell's only effective against protecting user from physical attacks. So there's this. This one's pretty good. I don't know how long it lasts, but it only costs 20. Chance the weapon magical properties. This one's also pretty good. Oh, excuse me. I do have a catalyst. What I don't have is... Uh, I don't have the uh, those uh, symbols of God or the beast thing or whatever the hell it is, but this costs five thousand. Um. Protection for 5,000. So I could get this. I see. Suit yourself. Shut up. Um. And what did this person over here offer? Oh. Run a miracle. Heal's also a pretty good one. Antidote's also another good one. Poisoning. That one sends me back. Hidden soul. New miracle body. Eyes of soul. Making them harder to be detected by. Uh, so it'd be like these two you'd want. Uh. I see. You weak. But I mean, at this point in the game, it'd also be pretty good. Hey, look who it is. Let's go talk to him. At its peak, Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what father wished for our great land. Here in Boletaria, we speak of the legend of the Two Swords and the Last Hero. The Two Swords are Demon Brandt and Soul Brandt. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The last hero is Old King Doran. King Doran is the Everlasting One, founder of Boletaria and protector of the Two Swords. <laughs> of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, 
Legends are all we can depend upon. Now, see, the, the interesting thing is, I don't know why he would say um, legends and all that. He has, he has the mausoleum key. So he should know in that mausoleum, Old King Durin lies in there waiting. And he does, and Old King Durin, the last hero, he does have one of the swords. I think he has Soulbrant or Demon Brand. I don't know which one it is. I want to say he has Soulbrand. He has the key. I don't know why he he wouldn't take that key, go over there, and say, "Hey, you're the old, you're the last hero. You're Old King Durin. You you set up Voluntaria. We need your fucking help." I don't know why he doesn't actually do that. He has the fucking key. There had to have been a time in the lore where this guy just looks at the key and says, where does this go to? Oh yeah, it's the old mausoleum. But why do I have this key? Why is it so important? Because I can imagine it was handed down to him saying, hey, because you're the prince, here's some of your responsibilities and duties. You get the key to the old mausoleum. At some fucking point or another, if he thought being a security guard for the old mausoleum was like dog shit like oh why why do i have why 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 am i the prince have a key to an old mausoleum that i'm supposed to protect what's so what's so special about this you can only imagine he would have to still go over there and check it out for himself and be like all right here's the mausoleum let me open the door look inside see what's special about this place that i need to protect and then he would have seen old king Duran just walking around and he just would have looked at him and be like are you old king Duran? And then the guy be like, yeah, what are you doing in here? Well, I'm in here protecting Soulbrand. I'm the everlast. I'm the everlasting one. I, I don't die. Like, I'm protecting this. And then like, why are you in here? Well, I'm the prince. I got this key for the old mausoleum. And then old King Durin would have been like, ah, so it's your duty to secure this place from the outside. All right, cool. Nice to meet you. And then as soon as all this bullshit would have happened, he would have just ran back into the mausoleum and be like, hey, yo, we need your help. But that didn't happen. So it's kind of like, it's confusing to me that he would say a story like that and nothing gets done about it. That's old King Durin. He has one of the freaking swords. If not both of them, because he said according to legend, he protects two of them, but he only really has one of them. So I don't know why nobody has gotten to old King Durin, because that guy's pretty powerful. Have you tried fighting him? He's very tough. He is very tough. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Valifax and Bure. Alfred, the knight of the tower. Metas, the knight of the lance. And the brave tribesman, Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog, and will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. So, we've defeated Alfred, the Tower Knight, uh, we've defeated Metes, Knight of the Lance, because he was, uh, he was a Phalanx, uh, he was a Phalanx boss, and then the, what's his name, the fucking Archer guy? No, wait, did we defeat the, no, I don't think we defeated the Knight of the Lance. I think he's, uh, he's the last, I think he's one of the last, uh, level knights in, uh, the Voluntaria, over here in, uh, Voluntaria. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, the the characters confused. But but... Perhaps I. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Thou secret. Seek power. Uh, let's see. Let's. I don't know. What do we? What do we want to? I kind of want to increase vitality. Um. I also want to increase this and this at least by one. I don't know. Something tells me that these ones need to be level 14 or 15 to get Miracle and uh, Spell Memory by 2. And then these ones need to be increased. Uh, 
Ah, uh, let's see. So we're at 15 for that. Let me think. Let me think. Uh... Or I could just keep adding into this. Alright, 18, that's pretty good. Close to 20, whatever. Art thou done? Look at her health. Main thine strength help. Okay. Um Where do we want to go? Alright, so we can't go any further over here. We need the Archdemon, and the Archdemon is in Stonefang. Freaking hate that boss. That boss is so fucking annoying. Uh or the man eater, or not the man eater. Um He's the, like the fire demon or whatever. So Stone Fang would be next. Tower of Latria. I don't know if we are quite at the right level for the Tower of Latria. I don't think we are. Uh, and then there's the this place. I don't think we're ready for that. That's that's a lot of poison, and we just. I don't think I have the resistances. I mean, I could change my armor out, but I don't think we have the resistances. This one's going to be tough, too. So this is the way I, I did it. If I remember correctly when I played, this is the way I did it. I would do this up to the Tower Knight, and then I would go there to try and finish it out. And then I would go... I think I would end up going to the Tower of Latria. And then from the Tower of Latria, I would go here or here i don't quite remember but let's go ahead and check out stone fang stone fang tunnel city of the burrows keepers of the huge tunnel most of the stubborn excavators who supported the soldiers of boletaria had their souls taken lacking their own will they mindlessly continue working let's go ahead and enter Lord Ridiel. Now, I think there is a corporeal demon we can kill. He should be over there somewhere. I don't know if we can see him. I don't think we can see him from here. He's over there somewhere. Back there, you kill him and you get a... I think you get a stone or a formal eye, or you get a, some kind of special... Uh, Oh, this little motherfucker. Short parsed him. Eight of them. Nice. Now, was there another one over here? I think on online play, there's supposed to be another one over here. He literally just yeets himself off the the edge here. Yeah, this is stuck until we activate it later on. Let's go talk to this guy. I don't remember what he has for sale. <laughs> Hello there, souls. Souls. I trade fine goods for souls. Fly item. Moon crescent grenade. He sells for 150. Shard stones, hard stones, pickaxe. That's all he has for right now. But if you want to upgrade your weapons, this is where you go to do such 
upgrades. You want to play, don't you? Uh, actually, that does bring a pretty good point. I have yet to upgrade any of my weapons. Uh, let's see. Longsword, Morning Star. We can upgrade some of our shit. We have to figure out if we want to upgrade the long sword because it is a pretty good weapon. It's a little bit stronger than the Morning Star. Let's actually head back real quick. Travel, return to the Nexus. I don't know if in this game you could upgrade the armor. I, I, I think you can. I'm not sure. Repair equipment. Oh, yeah, you have to repair. Alright, and then upgrade. What can we upgrade? Yeah, it's just weapons. You don't upgrade the, the armor. Okay. So, you can do Kite Shield 1. Purple Shield. Let's see, what are we upgrading you with? It costs 380 to upgrade this longsword to uh, longsword plus 1. It'll go from 80 to 88, 50, 50, 200, 200, costs 380 souls, and it's three hard stones, and we have 15 to get it to a plus one. Yeah. Stat bonuses, you see that it, it's uh, D and E. It's still D and E, uh, as you see here. It's just, it's more toward, it, it'll, it'll give you more, because you can see it has plus six, It'll be plus 10. And then you get 88 instead of 80, as you can see right there. So, there's that. What about the Morning Star? 83 plus 9. The other one was 88 plus 10. So, that's 98. This one is... Oh, my math. It's 92. Special effects bleed. So, that's there. Uh, and this is 3 of 15. How much do you cost? 360 to upgrade you. How much do you cost? 380 to upgrade you. What about you? How much do you cost? We don't have the souls. You're 790. And it's 6 shard stones. Okay. Kite shield, what about you? You go from 65 to 68. 243 hard stones. 68 plus 8. Guard reduction break at 57 instead of 55. Uh, shoot. Let me think. Uh, Do come back alive. I need your business. Yeah. Um, we will upgrade. I think we can still find some pretty good weapons for now. But at some point, we're going to have to think about upgrading our weapons and shields. Speaking of, can we now... Twenty-two. My strength. my strength is at 15. This requires 22. We don't have the strength for it yet. And then we can see if uh, that salamander it has uh, respawned. Nope. Alright, so that there shows you the salamanders in the game, they are influenced by the bosses you kill. So there's no salamander here, and there isn't one back here. So 
I think on online play, there's a salamander that hides back here and it'll just run off the cliff if you're not quick enough to get him. I think there's a salamander up there somewhere. I'm not sure if there's one down below. I don't think there is, but... Next enemy is susceptible to pierce attacks. Well, I have this mace, so... We'll see if the mace is any good. If it's not, susceptible to spells. If not, we'll switch over to the sword and do the piercing attacks. I just like the mace because it has the bleed. Should be dogs down there somewhere. A dog or two. Go ahead and activate this. down here there should be an item down yep there's the item and there would be a corporeal demon like right there somewhere but I don't know I think this me this might be a stone of the from the wise yep stone of from the wise a corporeal demon would have been like right here or something like that it just would have been wiggling and wriggling around or something i think it shows up on online play and i think it's there so that when you kill it it's supposed to help with your uh well white world tendency if that's what you're trying to get Why is his health going up? You see that? It says 405, 407. I thought this is supposed to make them bleed, not increase their fucking health. What the hell is that about?
Crushing Battle Axe plus one. Yeah, that's uh, another good weapon right there. Let's take a look at it. I think we don't quite have the strength for it. Let's find out. No, we do. Uh, it's 88 plus 16. Standard Axe, versatile weapon uh, type, reliable against many opponents. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so 86, 104, uh, 81, weighs the same. Let's take a look at this. I think it has the same swing pattern as the as the mace. And it's just a little less just like one less damage than the bastard sword. Bastard sword's at 105. Again, we'll continue rolling with this because it does have the bleed effect. I think it was causing the enemy to lose health. It's just, it's so weird to see the number go up. Went from like 407 to 409 and then I was like, what? But it looked like the health bar was actually dropping, so. Unless I was mis misreading that. I think I was misreading it. I think that was like the total amount of damage I was doing to him to drop his health bar. And I think that's what it was. Uh, where are the dogs? I know there's like dogs in here somewhere. Sometimes these guys will drop items. The ones that will definitely drop items are the ones that are uh, carrying around a bag. So if you find those guys, they'll drop a whole shit ton of uh, stuff. This guy, he has a weapon, so you gotta watch out for him. There were dogs in here. I think the dogs come out of that over there.
Yeah, that guy right there, the one with the bag, he's the one that's gonna drop some goodies. Clear stone, chunk of hard stone, chunk of sharp stone.
get the pickaxe as a weapon. Let's see what the pickaxe says. Here we are. Next one is mining. Wasn't originally meant for combat, but the hard protrusion can be used like a rapier. Uh, local specialty is stone fang. I forgot about that. Where the fuck did you guys come from? <laughs> Iron Knuckles? I'll remember that as a weapon that you can pick from these guys. Let's take a look at it, actually. I'll remember that. Iron Knuckles. Fist weapon. It has the shortest reach of all weapon types, but it strikes... Quickly, Stone Fang's rough blacksmiths love this weapon and sometimes let loose and slug it out. Okay. Uh, let's see. 65 plus 5, so we're at 70 with this. Uh, interesting. Let's see something. We're gonna go down, go back up, and kill that freaking fat bastard that's throwing fire all over the place, because I don't want to fight the other 
miners in here and have him just shoot that shit at me all the time. Something funny, funny man. It's so another thing uh, for the healing items. You, your character stops to uh, ingest whatever it is. So it's not like you can actually walk or run still while healing yourself. So be aware of that.
Shard of Spider Stone. And we had to come over here anyways. They even put a little uh little ghost over here to show you that. Just to open that gate up there. Oh, we got the fire salamanders. Now these guys, if you get too close to them, they will burn you. See? I was just being burnt for a little bit. Their flames will eventually go out, but I think they can reanimate the fire again, and then you'll start burning if you get too close to them. You're going to want weapons that have some range to them, so bow and arrows for sure, crossbows, yeah, magic, okay. Spells, yes, um... Miracles, whatever, but when it comes to melee weapons, you're gonna want very long melee weapons to deal with those guys, especially when they're on fire. Oh, I hear... Yeah, they got me good. They got me good, folks. Executioner Meralda. Those motherfuckers got me good. Now, I think the guys with, uh, what do you call it, the bags, they don't respawn. Pickaxe. I don't think any of the guys with the bags respawn at all.
And see, I don't see anybody with the bags. So, I'm just going to skip these guys because they're not worth anything to me. They only were worth something to me because of the, uh... Come on, I'm just trying to get... Get by. They're only worth something to me because it was the first time going up against them. And there was the potential of them having, uh... Bags to drop. I think eventually water gets dumped in here so that you can traverse this. Okay. Which one of y'all wants some of this? bitch I feel like they're making claymores or something I don't know it's kind of hard to tell And then go through all this 
shit over here. Damn, look at all that. Oh no. That was just fucking terrible. What a terrible fucking way to die. If you take a good look at this guy, he's got scales all over him. Unlike Baldwin, uh, the Nexus, he doesn't have as much as the scales, but this guy's got scales all over him. Hmm. I haven't seen you around these parts. What does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. <sighs> Toss a coin to your witcher. Can you upgrade for me? 
You can make a crushing morning star plus one or morning star plus one. Uh, let's take a look. Crushing morning star. I need shards of gray stone. And it would. The stat bonus goes with strength, so it'll go from 83 plus 9 or 75 plus 6 to 83 plus 15. Because it scales with strength instead now. And our strength is a lot higher than our uh, dexterity. So we just don't have any shards of Greystone. Do a long sword plus one. That'd be eighty-eight plus ten. All done. Hey, there's a shard of Greystone. Oh, well, this is going to be a problem. kind of hard to pull off uh, these reposts whenever the freaking camera is going through the walls and shit. So doing uh, backstabs with this weapon doesn't net a whole lot of damage, but doing uh, the repost from the front does a tremendous amount more damage. But I still wouldn't uh, be opposed to not doing any kind of backstabs because it does a tremendous amount of damage regardless. I don't know what you were using that pickaxe for, but I don't think it was meant for logs. I like how I rolled and that anvil just easily moved out of the way. I don't know why the backstabs doesn't net a whole lot of damage, though. 
mean, the back would be like the weakest part, so. I know essentially I'm hitting twice from the front, but the, I mean, it's the back. Do a great club. What does a great club give us? A large wooden club enhanced with iron spikes. Among the larger weapons which knock enemies back, this one, this one, comparatively lighter and easier due to its wooden nature. Okay. It scales alpha with strength. It's a hundred minus... Oh, because my strength is uh, 15 and not 20. Okay. I like that I increased my endurance enough that my character doesn't run slow, because you can actually tell the difference in the running. That's why I just like running like this instead of doing this sprinting crack, because, I mean, look, you did just, just it drains your stamina, though not as much because I increased my endurance enough that I can fast roll, as you can see, instead of fat roll. I just like the way my character runs. It just, I like the, I like the animation because it looks like my character's like, oh, man, this armor doesn't weigh anything on me now. It's just, da -da 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 -da. it's a good jog. Yeah, I run like this every day. It's about 50 pounds or more, so to fuck what. <laughs> just look at him, he's like, da -da 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 -da. this is nothing, da -da -da. I'm so comfortable in this armor, da -da 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 -da. you know? Hey, I'm going for a nice jog, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Come over here. I bet you from around the corner, they just saw their buddy get fucked up, and they were like, uh, I don't know if I want to mess with that guy. He's, he just reposted a guy with a pickaxe. I thought there was a way to get up there, and then you could drop down on these guys. Oh, uh, there is. That's right, from up here. A steel shield. Let's take a look at that. Weighs six pounds, so it weighs less than the purple flame shield. Requires 18 strength. We don't have quite enough strength for it. As you can see, we have a minus 63. Large steel shield is simply... It is simply made, but as a result, it has a high defense, defensive strength. Pretty cool. Now here's the thing, with the larger shields, you won't be able to repost. So, as good as I'm doing this, I would lose that for increased strength. Alright, which one of you bastards want to start this shit?
Who's next? Motherfucker with the sword's now starting, but oh wait, now he's backing up. low on the half moon grass. Let's change and go back to this for now. Or to Dragonstone, that will add fire to your weapons. It 
It's grindstone that'll repair. Do we need any repairs? We got fucked up and pushed the strong strong attack button. Go back. I think there's a ring over here. I don't know what these other ones are. I don't know where that dead body comes from. Good, more half moon grass. Ah, oh, yes, take a shower. Ah. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I think this is a ring. Ring of poison resistance. Where all the water will drain, I guess. I don't know. Extra bit of detail. Well, extra bit of detail that they added in the game that they didn't really have to, but they went ahead and did. I do believe there's another fat man over here. He's down here. I'll start blowing these up. There he is. Hey! 
stone of ephemeral eyes. Up ahead, you'll start seeing spider webs and s stuff. Yep, here we are. We are getting close to the boss, because the first boss of this place is a giant spider that spits fire everywhere. And he'll also spit webs at you. He or she will spit webs at you to uh, slow you down. Come on. Come on. Alright, you are very much pissing me off. There we go. Oh, you're still alive? I think there's a weapon around here you could find. It's probably like Jerry Stiletto or some st stupid name shit. I don't know. That might be it. I don't know. It's supposed to be a good weapon, but I mean, it's not good for me. Chris Blade, that's what it is, Chris Blade. Uh, let's see. Small ceremonial sword. Old runes are basically chiseled into the blade. Uh, used as an aid for incantations, the wielder's magic ability increases, though he or she will suffer more magical damage. So, you can do more damage, but you take more damage magically. Let's go here. Crash resistance. Let's trade it out for this one. I think there's also a Ring of Avarice in the Tower of Latria. You can either purchase it. Actually, I think you could only purchase it. Which is pretty good if you want to collect more souls. It does a decent job. Chunk of Spider Stone. Now with this boss, it will spit webs at you to slow you down. And, I mean, you'll start walking, and you're screwed at that point. You have to get close to one of the sides of walls to prevent from getting hit by fire, because this spider boss, it will shoot fire, and it'll have different waves of fire. It'll have a charging fire attack, it'll have waves of fire attack. Um, your, your objective is to run up to the boss and attack it in the face. Uh, one, uh, when it's down on the ground, because... If you get too close to it, it'll throw out its uh, its legs to attack you, but then there's a point where it'll drop down, and then you can like hit it a bunch of times in the face, and you just rinse and repeat. You'll want that side or that side to uh, protect yourself from fire. Uh, when he does the charging fire attack, you'll want to run back as far as you can, because uh, there is a limit to that fire. The armor spider. See, there you go. That's the limit. And we just hit. So see, I'm walking. And that's how slow that's how bad it is. And then it goes away finally. 
So, oh, he just got us. Uh, let's see. Got me again. Here we go. So, wait for him to drop. He'll do that. He'll do that. He'll eventually have to drop down. There we go. That was crazy. That does happen sometimes. That attack. Once you see that, fucking run. Alright, but what I'm gonna do is switch this to this. And I'm fucked. Okay. Come on, I need you to drop. There we go. I want to do that, that way I get a chance to inflict some bleeding on this fucker. Oh no! Run! Fucking run, man! Oh, that was close. You don't want to get hit by that while you're back there because he, this spider boss, will capitalize on you. They'll be like, oh, I just slowed him down. Now, I could be doing more damage if I doubled up on uh, one to two handed, but it's whatever. It's not by much, but whatever. Oh no. Ah! Cheese it! Yeah, just stand back here. If you don't feel safe, you can put your shield up because that fire can get pretty close back here. Oh good, he dropped. Bring your bitch ass down here, I'll knock you the fuck out! And that fire is a continual hit, too, so it'll hit you and hit you and hit you and hit you. You saw that shit curve? I'm sure there's a better way to defeat this boss. Like maybe there's some corner near the boss that you can go to. You don't have to worry about getting hit by this fire. Um, I don't know where exactly.
damn it. You gotta watch out for those ones. Those are the waves I was talking about. And you gotta be careful with that attack too, because he'll drop he'll drop those legs down and you'll get hit for a lot of damage. Those legs right there. Chunk of spider stone. There's a lizard up ahead. There's actually a lot in this next chapter. There's quite a bit of them. And they're all too, uh, I think they're in the cave to the right. You go through the cave, there's uh, like two or three of them in there. And then there's a pit that's got like, I don't know, five to ten of them. And you're not going to get them all. I mean, if you had some sort of spell, maybe a bow and arrow. I think there's a miracle. I think it's like, uh, I forgot the name of the miracle, but it's supposed to be light beams from the ground or the sky that just strikes at the ground. Like, you use that, you can destroy quite a bit of them. Uh, but, yeah. I've never been able to kill all of them in time. We... Let me see. Pure spider spoon. Uh, yeah, let's return to the Nexus so we can upgrade. There they are. Does he have anything extra to say? Sometimes he has some crazy shit. But perhaps our age. Nah, nothing. Nobody over there. I think Patches the Hyena is usually right up there just looking down. Uh... Have you met the last surviving monumental? Those fools revived the old one on a whim. And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. It's all a travesty if you ask me. Well, you found yourself a demon soul, did you? I'm impressed, yes. Indeed I am. 
Stay the path, and you will soon be a monster yourself. <laughs> Can't you see you've fallen for their trap? I think they call this guy the Crestfallen. Have you seen my corporeal flesh? Has my body gone rotten? I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. Yeah, he'll eventually uh, attack you. I think he attacks you at that area, I think. All right, so we have the hard demon, that's the armor spider, tower knight, phalanx, uh, In all honesty, I don't know why I'm saving these. I don't know what souls to what weapons. I mean, I looked it up, but at this point in time, at this playthrough, I don't think it's going to help us any to put these into a weapon. I think it's probably better at new game when you've already started leveling your character to whatever stats you want. So we completed his quest line, spoke to him about the other blacksmith. What else do you have to say? Oh my, has God abandoned? Oh. I think he eventually disappears once Saint Urbane comes in to pull it, uh, into this location. Seeketh soul power, dost thou not? The soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Alright, 20 is good for now. Um, let's put some into strength. Uh, 19, son of a bitch. Okay. Art thou done? Main that. We. Let's see. We can now, I think. Oh, we can't use this one. Yeah, we need 22. But we could use this one. We have big ass shield. But now we're moving slowly. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, you can use that to bash into people. But, that's not what we're about. Let's go ahead and bring back the kite shield. Because we like parrying. What is the aura on this one? Oh, what do you know? It looks like uh, Ostrava's. Uh, 
Alrighty. And then the red one was green, I think. Yeah. Alright, let's go back to the fire one. Twenty-eight souls. A measly twenty-eight souls on hand. Um let's see. I don't think Mephistopheles would be up there right now. Not that it matters. I really don't want anything to do with her and her quest line bullshit. She wants us to like kill people. I think she shows up whenever we run into a uh, Yurt the Chieftain or something. Yurt the Silent Chief or some bullshit like that. Uh Okay, so we can continue. I forgot what the next boss was. Oh, Stone Thing. Let me think. Who's the next boss? Is it the motherfucker I don't like? The jumping around monkey fire guy or whatever? Tower of Latria. Um, we could go there, and the reason why I would suggest going there is because of that Ring of Avarice. We could buy that. And that'll get us a lot more souls, which we're going to want. So, I say, let's head on over here to see if we can take on or tackle uh, getting that ring. I believe you purchased it. I don't remember how much it costs, but let's go ahead and put the ring of gash on because I think this place capitalizes on bleeding, possibly? I don't know. I don't think there's anything to do with flame. There is something to do with magic in the area, but I don't have a ring of magic resistance or something. We got ring of poison. I don't think there's... I don't believe there's poison done in the Tower of Latria. I don't think there is. Let me see. There, there are some weird creatures in the Tower of Latria. Maybe, uh, maybe they throw shit around, or I'm thinking of a different creature from Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, or Dark Souls 3, or something. Ah, uh, let's go with the Ring of Poison. It's not gonna hurt us any. We'll just switch out if we find that somebody's doing more bleeding shit. So let's go over here to get the Ring of Avarice. I th I'm pretty sure the Ring of Avarice is in here, and you get it from the queen or wh whoever she well no she's not she's not the queen i think she's the uh she's like a high noble or something we can do that tower latria latria land of the queen's ivory tower an old man took revenge on the queen by locking her family in prison with inhuman guards all that escapes the place are the prisoners cries so she's one of the nobility. Maybe she's part of the family. Maybe she's not. I don't think she is the queen. Maybe. I don't know. But she got locked up. And she you, you'll you know who she is. As soon as you come in, she'll start... She's singing if you get close to her. And her singing gets louder. So, yeah. There are other people locked up in here, too. Like uh, Ridiel. Lord Ridiel's in here somewhere. He's not a good person. I, I think? I don't remember if you ever run into again. Uh, I, I really don't. But then I think you also run into a uh, Sage Freak in here. I believe he's locked up. I don't remember where Saint, Saint Orbain is. Um, but yes, let's go in here. We want that ring. Skurver the Wanderer, he was in the next chapter that we would have started in Stonefang. He's somewhere, somewhere in one of the, uh, one of the, caves or some shit, but he was in that chapter. There are some really fucked up creatures in here. You hear that ting ting sound? That's the guards. There's one of them over there. Fucker sucks. If you get too close to him, he'll grab you and then he'll like freaking face fuck you or some shit. You don't want you don't want that shit. And they they do use magic. Look at that. Motherfuckers using magic already. Uh, and they, they run pretty fast, too, so you gotta be careful for, the, for that shit. Adjugate, Adjite of Guidance. Yeah, you can, uh, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Imagine having to sit on this. There's another knight. Door's locked. You need keys. Keys are dropped by the guards. Um... 
Is there any, I don't think there's anyone in here. Sometimes they're hiding. Sometimes there'll be people in here hiding. This is where we started. There you go, there's some of the prisoners. I don't think they get you a whole lot. Okay, how about we put this one on? Become harder to detect. Yeah, they don't they don't get you a whole lot. That is Lord Radiel. That attack, that weird, that weird uh, electrical thing, that would have sh shocked you in position. And then he would have, like, you just saw how he's like, ran at you pretty fast. That's where he would have grabbed you and then pierced you, like, face fucked you and shit. So, I'm in a pretty delicate situation here because I'm not quite ready to take these fuckers on. There's a key. Prison of Hope, third floor cell key. I don't know why they would call a prison that. It's kind of a terrible thing. Looks like somebody tried to get out. Wooden catalyst, wizard's clothes, wizard's gloves, wizard's shoes. Hey, here's a thought. Uh, a lot of video games will have magic users and all that. What is the difference between a wizard, a warlock, a sorcerer, a magician? Uh, what other kind of casters are there? I think that might be it. Those are generally the ones you hear the most. Like, what's the difference? You're free. Please. I don't know if this guy harms you at all, but we freed him. And he's just going to go around. This guy, obviously. Didn't mean to hurt this guy, but he got in the way.
Man, I need you to move. I freed you. I need you to move. Move. Some of those uh, prisoners you do got to watch out for. Some of them uh, will be, like, stuck in these pots right here or something like that. And they'll, like, poison you real badly. Or cause you to bleed. One of the two. I don't remember. Shard of Mercury Stone. Alright, now where is... Oh, he's right there. Fucking hate you. Fresh spice. Another shard of mercury stone. I believe the mercury is what causes poison. supposed to be able to go open. Oh, what does that say? Read inscription plate. Prison open floor east, third floor. Okay. Alright, so we got to about here. Let's open this. Hopefully you guys don't attack me. Let's 
sorry, but you're gonna get in the way. What'd you do? Kill your friends? Shard of Moonlight Stone. Silver Coronet. Uh, I believe that's a headgear piece. Uh, it's supposed to increase your magic or some shit, I think. Crown wrought from silver. The decorative piece is only given to the famous magicians of the distinguished young... Yormadar Yorm family it is imbued with a unique spell that increases the bearer's maximum HP. Yeah, so it increases. Alright, y'all are free. And I'll rid you of this pain in the world that you're in. If I can get you to just turn around, I can, get, I, I can help you out. There we go. Shard of Moonlight Stone. Check my phone real quick. Oh. Yep, well, that was a smart thing to do. Threw my phone at the computer. Coming events start Monday. I shifted a few hours right. Main body one, I shifted to 12 October PSA. So on timeline, main body one, so. What kind of spears those are? I don't know how you guys got them. And honestly, I don't know why you would be attacking me instead of the guard that keeps going around face fucking people and shit. Shard of Mercury Stone.
Help me! Where the fuck did you come from? I think there's someone in here, but he's dead. But you, I think you can possibly catch a disease. Or a poison or something, I don't know. We didn't, caught, we can, we didn't catch anything, but there's another one down down a ways that you can get something. You gotta be careful. Appears to be locked. I think she's on the other side of this. that one right there. Or this one, I don't know. Hmm, let's see. We are overburdened.
I mean, I could put on the ring of Herculean strength. Yeah, that was the one. Uh, let's see. We are poisoned. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Uh, for again, the poison. Uh, heals from plague. like oh somebody was listening and you can kind of see her face it has seen better days you're an ordinary human aren't you where do you call home oh, dear me I shouldn't pry oh perhaps you'd like something from my collection I've had better days I was once the wife of royalty, and I have some nice things to show for it. Talk. Before, there were many others trapped here, but they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. The queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged Great Latria, 
land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, they've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. I know the truth. The church goddess may die, but never for long. And we are trapped below forever. Hmm. Redemption. Kind of clues you into the boss later on. Church goddess may die, but doesn't stay dead for long. So, somebody is reviving. You know, you gotta watch out for anybody of certain kinds of suspicion. And get rid of uh, anyone and everyone effectively. So, there's that. What have you for sale? 1300 for full moon grass for a spice royal lotus. Oh, moonlight, okay. Ooh! Uh, Arap, yeah. I need 12 on the dexterity. Ah, damn. Small rep here. Repairs have a narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. They work well against metal armor and hard scales, but are easily parried and have difficulty breaking enemies' guards. The wielder of the rapier can't attack, can attack with shield rays, so it's better to use it to parry than block attacks while in the left hand. Wait, what? It's better to use it to parry than block attacks while in the left hand. Wilder of a rapier can attack with a shield raised. So it's better to parry. Okay, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm going to put my headset down. i got to go to the Alright, I'm back. Oh, oh my god. Uh, I would like to get this weapon. But what else do we have? A wooden catalyst, a buckler, don't get two shits. The Ring of Avarice! There it is. Obtain more souls when slaying enemies. It's worth 50.
uh, we're going to want that, folks. Because even though it's, it's got a big, uh, big price tag to it, the longer you put it on, the more people you kill, the more souls you're going to get in return. How much more? I don't know. It's, it works long term. It doesn't necessarily work short term. Well, I mean, it does, just not as much. Because you would think fifty thousand dollars. Well, you would think fifty thousand souls for a ring like this. And let's say a single bad guy right now would give you, let's say, twelve souls. You put this on. Let's say you get maybe seventeen or nineteen souls. Right? For fifty thousand souls, you're probably thinking that's not a great deal, right there. You know. It's like in the automotive, uh, it's like with cars, automotive industry and all that. A lot of people would tell themselves, why would I pay for one vehicle over another just because it has this thing? As a matter of fact, let's, let's, let's take this for example. I recently just got myself a 2009 Pontiac G8 GT. Uh, it's used, it had like 60 something thousand miles on it. Right now I got it at 71. I freaking love the vehicle. It is old, yes, but it's a Pontiac G8 GT, originally from Australia, known as the Holden Commodore. It is a great fucking vehicle. Yes, it is old, so there's some things about it that's out of date and all that, but I love the vehicle. But here's the reason why I bring it up. Way back in the day, a lot of people were asking themselves, is it worth getting the Pontiac G8 GT over the GXP? And let's say we're talking... You know, about the vehicles themselves, right? Like, what does one offer the other where the price tag of the GXP is necessary out of the price tag of the GT? The Pontiac G8 GT came with, like, uh, a 6.0 liter V8. The Pontiac, G, uh, the Pontiac G8 GXP, however, came with a 6.2 liter V8. So, 0.2 extra on the displacement. I believe the numbers uh, for horsepower and torque was like 415, 415 pound-feet of torque for the GXP. The GT, however, depending on which model year, you either had 361 horsepower at, I think, 385 pound-feet of torque, or you had the 355 horsepower at roughly about three. Seven or something, or maybe the torque is still the same. I don't know, but a lot of people are like the difference of the 355 horsepower. So if you choose the lower number, minus 415 was maybe less than 50 horsepower. I don't know. I'm not great at math, but off the top of my head, I think that was like 40 horsepower difference. Uh, well, let's 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 check it out. Actually, let's check it out. Hold up. Let's be correct about this. So, 355, uh, no, let's do 415 minus 355, right? The lower number. 60 horsepower, right? So, there's that, or 415 minus 361 and 54. So, it's anywhere from 60 to 54 horsepower difference. And who knows what pound-feet of torque, right? Is that worth the price tag of the GXP? Aesthetically, on the outside, both the GXP and the GT look very similar. The front bumper is slightly different, but you could tell, overall, that vehicle is a G8. It's a Holden Commodore. Uh, the GXP had little extra badges that said GXP, where the GT only had a GT badge in the back of the vehicle. Um, some very rare... Very rare select models of the GTs had a Holden Commodore V8 badge on the side, just underneath the side vehicle side markers, like my car. My car, underneath the side vehicle side markers, there's a Australian uh, Holden Commodore V8 badge. And really, I'm only pointing the fact that it's a Holden Commodore because only, to me, I've noticed well, like Holden Commodores with this V8 badge on the side. And really all it is is just a little V8 badge. Like if anybody remembers the 2000, uh, the 2004 to 2006 Pontiac GTO, which guess what? That's a vehicle from Australia as well. It's the Holden Monaro. They had a GTO badge, the Pontiac ones did, that said GTO, and then if it was a 5.7 liter or a 6.0, and then it had like a weird little checkered flag. But it was a little triangle that was on the side of the vehicle. Some very rare, very rare select 
Pontiac, uh, well, yeah, Pontiac G8s, and for sure, a lot of Holden Commodores had a badge just under the side marker that stated V8 and 6.0. The GXPs didn't have that because instead of having that badge, they instead had a badge down at the bottom, just underneath the the little square GM badge that said GXP. It was just right there, little little words, a little badge that said GXP. They wanted you to know it was a GXP that you were purchasing, right? And of course, in the back of the vehicle, it'll say uh, G8 GXP. On my vehicle, it says Pontiac, and it says uh, no, no, no. On mine, it says uh, GT on the left side, and I believe it says on the right side Pontiac, Pontiac G8. I think I don't, I, I don't remember. But now you're not. That's basically the outside, and of course, some mechanical things that are different. Uh, if it's an autom if it's the automatic, it comes with the the automatic transmission that the G8 ha that the GT has is the same on the G uh, GXP. However, the GXP does come with a manual transmission, so that price tag doesn't really bump up. Usually, you pay more for an automatic, not for a manual. Some people mistakenly argue for the opposite, like, oh no, it's rarer to have it in manual, so it costs more. It's like, no, you're a fucking idiot. Um, but there's also the uh, not not uh, there's also the suspension. So I believe the Pontiac G8 GXP has a, a sportier front end, and it also has Brembo brakes in the front, but uh, standard heavy duty brakes in the back. Whereas my vehicle has standard suspension. And it has standard heavy-duty brakes front and rear. They're disc brakes, but they're standard. Uh, and then the interior, slight, really slight, subtle differences. There's a sport package and whatever else. That, that's pretty much it. So now you got to ask yourself, was the price of the Pontiac G8 GXP worth, worth it to be that much more? For realistically, what you're paying for is possibly a different transmission if you were lucky enough, but for sure, a slightly, and I mean slightly bigger engine. Just a slightly bigger engine. 415, 4, 415 horsepower, 415, I believe 415 pound feet of torque, but that's at the crank, of course. The uh, Pontiac GTO or the Holden Monaro was a LS2 engine that was a 6.0 that had 400 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque, and that's at the crank. My vehicle has a similar LS2 engine. It's actually an L76 because it has this weird AFM DOD system that's supposed to help fuel economy. It doesn't really, it does that on paper. In reality, it actually blows up a lot of these engines. So I'm soon going to be doing a, uh, a delete kit for that shit. I drive it in, man in auto manual mode though. I don't, I don't ever drive it in normal automatic mode. But my engine is derived of the LS2. They just changed the valley cover and some, some, uh, some lifters and that was pretty much it. The basic gist of it. But it's still that LS2 and I have just a little bit less horsepower than the Pontiac GTO or the Holden Monaro. Uh, at 361 horsepower or 355 horsepower. It's one of the two. I'm pretty sure mine's the 355 horsepower because I think my vehicle has the the extra catalytic converters that it really doesn't need, so it's very restrictive. But you then have to look at, is it worth the extra price tag of the GXP versus the GT on the G8s? Why am I talking about this when we were just talking about the Ring of Average? Well, it's the same deal. Is the price tag of 50,000 souls for this ring worth it if you get an additional however many souls from the from the enemies that you kill in this game? You're now looking at short-term versus long-term. Just like for the Pontiac G8. What was better, long-term? Is it the GXP or the GT? I would say long-term, the GXP, however, comma, what were you really paying for in that for that it's really up to the user now for me i think this is worth it because as long as we keep this ring on the longer we keep this ring on 
the more people we killed, the more souls we would get out of those individuals that eventually, I don't know, maybe it'll, maybe uh, for every 10 individuals that we kill in this game with this ring on, we'll get a free additional individual soul or maybe two individual soul. Do you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, like, let's say you kill 10 people in this game with this ring on and you get just enough souls that, hey, here's, uh, you know, like they say, buy, buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free. Well, let's say in this, you know, you know, kill, kill 10, get one free or kill 10, get two free, right? The longer you have the ring on, the better it is for you. That's the point. So 50,000 to me for the, a ring like this. And and it also works with bosses, too. I think it, I'm pretty sure it works with bosses. But we don't have the price right now. What we can do, however, is pop some of the, uh, the souls that we had just found and see if that'll help. Uh, let's get this, though. I definitely want this. You can't buy this, you'll become overburdened. Man, kiss my ass. Thank you. Now I can stay here for a little while longer. Don't go far. Uh, let's see. So we can put this on. Oh, uh, we can't put it on. That's right. I need my uh, dexterity up. Well, we could fix that. It's only, we need, yeah, two more and we have, uh, what do you call it? Ooh, wait, hold up. Could I put that on? No, not just yet. We need 20, and I have 19. Yeah, we need two more dexterity, one more strength. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see something. What? Yeah, we only have two for three. Ooh. You know, I'm wondering if we can get two of the repairs, and I could have a, uh, repairs, repairs, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I could have one on the left hand, one on the right, and I could just repost all the time, you know, and that'll fuck people up. <laughs> I wouldn't really have a... I wouldn't really have a shield, though, so... Ugh. But... Uh... We could drop this, to be honest. I don't need this. Oh, yeah, drop that shit. And then we can... Because it was 115, right? There we go. Can we get another one from you? By... Hey, we can. We can get another one. And they only weigh 0. 0.8. That's pretty cool. I got one on hand. I mean, it ain't gonna bother me any, really. I wish you could, like, haggle and make the price go down, or if you help them out, the price goes down. That'd be pretty legit. Thank you. Now I can stay here. Yep. Okay, uh, so we got that. Collect that. And she goes back to singing. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else around here that we can... Let's open this. Now, who the fuck in here was you?
I don't remember which of these is good, which of these are bad. Of magical sharpness. What is that? Raises magic power, lowers magic defense. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, suppose it'd be good for people who don't get hit all the time. Uh, let's see. We could do with finding someone that can get us uh, half moon grass. Or crescent moon grass. I think the merchant at Boletaria has half moon and crescent moon, and we could just buy a shit ton of those. Would be beneficial because I seem to be using those a lot. That would have dropped us down a level. There's Sage Freak. Oh, human are you? I am Freak. I have been trapped here for ages. Perhaps you could help me get out of here. I am a sage, and I can lend you my power in return. Oh, take heed of those octopus-headed guards. drop down. You could drop down there. I think you could drop down there. Or, uh, oh, hey, we can go down here. key that we just picked up that doesn't open that. Okay. Go downstairs. Can't carry anymore. Get the fuck out of here.
Honestly, all of this shit that we picked up. Oh, Jesus! Lord Radiel's up there somewhere. There's Lord Radio right there. Well, you are a sane one, aren't you? My name is Ridiel. Please liberate me from this cell. I have precious little time. I must retrieve an article from my corpse. I don't know what... what it is, but whatever. A nasty creature over there.
get fucked, scrub. Should have on honestly just avoided him. All right, let me think. Uh, we need fifty thousand to come back here. I'm not honestly getting anything from. We'll get out of here. We'll just get out of here. Yes, return to the Nexus. That's just fucking beautiful. That is just fucking beautiful. And you know, the thing is, he lives long enough. That salamander lives long enough to run across, fall down into a pit, to scare the other fucking salamanders. And they all disappear. And it's, it's just fucking annoying. Absolutely fucking annoying. And I forgot to go back to the Nexus and drop some fucking items off. I can forge weapons for you, for a fair price. Thou seek the soul of the mind. I shall await thine. I am here for you. I can forge. Do come back alive. Hello again. I'm... You have a heart of gold.
How much was the miracle to uh, heal heal yourself? How much was that one? Do you see? Five thousand. Oh. I see. I. The merchant for he's in here, I think. Yeah, I think he's in here. He's in those tunnels. Alright, he's coming in. Late moon grass, half moon grass. Okay, so we can get crescent moon, and we can get half moon. How many can we only? Oh yeah, that's right. Cause ten on. Fuck me. I get forty of these though. Thanks for that.
suppressing moon grass. It doesn't heal for a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. And I got 40 of them, or 41. Oh shit, I came back too far. You know, I want to see if this gate is open. gate's still closed. I hate that salamander. Mm. 
know what those are? Bombs. And this one's uh, another one that didn't go off, but we got it. You see there's another one over there in the distance. Maybe this was the better choice. I don't know. Yeah, seventy six over seventy one. A slow attack. Miners, and you see these things. There are worms in the tunnels, folks. So they put all these there, these guys with the weapons and all that, because they know on the other side you'll find some goodies. That's their limit. They can't go any closer. Bunch of weak fuck. Oh, shit!
kind of annoyed how I went from 40 something to 26 crescent moon grass. Healing is absolutely important. What's up, jackass? And you notice these guys are a lot tougher than their counterparts from the, the first chapter. Would suggest by this point to upgrade some weapons, if not find some better ones. But yes, the salamander would have dropped down there and all the other salamanders would have been like oh shit here's these uh bear bugs or whatever they call them uh you could do some platforming over here get some of these nice special goodies problem is I I can't jump I don't know what it is with this emulator that won't let my character jump you're supposed to run and then you're supposed to hit this button and it would make you jump but my character's not doing it I believe down there a black phantom will show up. Living off a of crescent moon grass isn't exactly great. <laughs> oh, never mind the black. Black Phantom's not down here, it's, uh, fucking down in that elevator. There's a salamander over here.
pick this item up and the worms will actually come from underground. At least one of them will. The head is the most vulnerable. So if you can get head, if you can get him there. It's kind of difficult though. Oh shit. Apparently they both rolled off the edge. I didn't think they would do that. I don't know what weapons they drop. And you can see over there, there is more salamanders, or geckos, or whatever the hell you want to call them. And they did drop something, you see that? They died and they dropped something down there. We can't get it though, we'll fall to our death. I believe if we was to exit out and come back, the, the their items should be up here somewhere, I think. Let me see. Uh, return to title screen, yes. Their items should be up above instead of down below. Let's see if that's true. Oh boy. Let's see if it's true. I don't know what weapons they drop. Oh shit. Oh come on. God damn it, it's it they're gonna scare the others. Go fuck yourselves. Oh, their items are not down there. And their items are not up here. I will never know what those items are. Maybe it was souls, maybe it was something else. I don't know.
unless their items are going to spawn back when I leave the actual level instead of just to the title screen. But then I gotta fight everybody all over again. That's gonna be annoying as fuck. Right there is Patches the Hyena. Uh, and there's a bear, bear bug, bed bug, whatever the hell. And then there's this thing trying to make its way towards us. What he's going to do is tell you that there's an item over there that's really cool and he'll give it to you, but then he'll push this guy down to trap you. And yeah. There are ways around it. You can kill the... Oh my god. You can kill the bug right now. Or you can kill him. Or whatever. I don't remember what that item is. It might be a ring. I'm not sure. It's probably like a worthless ring though. Anyways, these, it takes a while to kill them.
Uh, I do believe these things will blow up though, so you might want to like run after that. And when it does blow up, I think it'll push. I think the explosion will hit patches, but then he'll just be like, what the? How did you do that? Or something like that. Like, you don't really have to talk to him right now. Apologies. As promised, the treasure is good luck. To Worry not, the treasure is all yours. Tough luck with the bear bugs, but you certainly showed them, didn't you? Here it is, the treasure. Safe, go on. Ring of flame resistance. <laughs> You're simply unlucky. Worry not. Stay by me, and my luck will rub off on you soon enough. So I think we have two rings now of flame resistance. Yeah.
I need your nasty, ugly, bear bug ass out of here. Can I wield it, is the question. I can. Uh, apparently I can wield it. D&E, 26. Uh, 26 strength. I don't have 26 strength, though. Oh, that's because I'm dual wielding. Uh, that's right, that's right. uh, let's see. In order to get that, you have to slide down this cliff, and I think you want to slide... Fuck, this is a problem, because there's that gap right there you can fall through. These? Okay. Dark Heater Shield plus two. Uh, let's see. Is it better than what we have? Just a little. And it weighs less. Let's see. 78 plus 11. Damage reduction is 46 versus 30. Guard break reduction is 53. Weight is less... Uh, but that's physical attack. Damage reduction, 46. 55, guard break reduction. Yeah, so... Talk to 
talk to this guy right here. <laughs> I've got plenty of words. So bring me plenty of souls. Hundred and fifty. <laughs> well, These I'll motherfuckers. Come back when you actually need something. Oh my god, the fucking camera! I tried.
And then there's more of these worms down here. I think there's also a sword down here somewhere that has some fire to it. I think it's like a dragon longsword or some shit like that. I don't know. Straight sword, dragon longsword, straight dragon long, I don't know, something like that. But it's behind like a bear bug or two. Like maybe this motherfucker?
please tell me the sword is back here and I didn't just waste all that time. Oh, it's behind him. You can kind of see another uh, bed bug right there, or bear bug, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's behind this guy right here. Yeah, he, he'll stop there. Uh, let's see, I need something.
Oh, chunk of clear stone. There's supposed to be a sword around here somewhere. Maybe that's the sword right there? Oh, I'm gonna muscle. Ah, uh, there's a lava pit down there. No, you don't. It's not enough for my eyes. Where's the damn sword? There's supposed to be a sword around here. There's supposed to be a sword. Where's the fucking sword? That ain't it. Yeah, there are some items out here, but good luck grabbing them. There is supposed to be a fire sword around here. And it's, it's really not going to do well against these guys, but you can use it in other places. Where is this sword at? If you fall down there, there are uh, three of those worm creatures that are going to greet you and fuck your day up or some shit. I don't know. Seriously, where's that sword? That sword's supposed to be around here. I thought it was in the tunnels. Okay, hold on. I need to look it up. Hmm, let me see. Yeah, it says it's in the tunnel, it's just where in the tunnel.
Whatever it is, it's in a corner somewhere. It's in a corner somewhere, and it has like a bunch of bones around it or some stupid shit. God damn it, I got myself turned around. Rather embarrassing for someone who prides himself as being real good with direction. Provide I have the time to uh, prepare. Yeah, see, I can't jump to get that. This is it. There it is. There we go. Dragon. And it causes fire. So we can take this and go to other worlds now because this isn't going to be very effective in here. Turn. Yeah, so I'll lose these souls. Oh man, I don't know if I want to do that.
So I think we might be too low a level for this area. We just were enough to get through, but it's not good enough. But we did get ourselves a decent weapon that can get us through possibly some of the other levels. So we need to figure out if we want to go to Latria again. Which, I don't know. I feel my ass kicked by that wood creature, so... I don't know. Okay, uh, we just upgraded those. I think we said we wanted the rap, rapier, rapier going up in the level, but we just got this weapon. Although, bringing the dexterity up would hurt. Because I can't essentially use this weapon all the time. There are going to be some creatures out there I'll beat up against that. Let's see, so I could bring you possibly up by two. Uh, we're just short. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. There's hot. There's patches. He sells items, but they're expensive as fuck. Uh, let's see. Valley of the Filement. I don't think we're ready for that. The Storm Temple? <sighs> Man, I don't know. Where else do I got, though? Where? Let me think. And then I still need 50,000 for that. We can give it a try. I'm not going to be too happy about this. Trine Storms. Now I learned a shrine of the Shadowmen who worship storms and warn the dead. Here, the storm beasts fly above, and the souls of the dead inhabit empty skeletons to move about freely. Let's give it a try. Golly. Decent enough damage, but man. Also, we can change our ring out. We can change the ring out for gash resistance. I believe these people make you bleed.
Ow. I believe that up there is a... Oh, that motherfucker's looking right at us. That is a Red Eyes... These fuckers, but he's got two swords. You gotta be careful with him. That item right there, I believe, is a Falchion or Scimitar plus some bullshit. I don't know. Alright, you bring that ass over. Oh my god, he is he's hauling ass. Ah! Look at that arrow sticking out, man. Look at that crap. And this guy wasn't... He didn't stop shooting at us. Alright. Fucking shit, bitches! Oh my god! Well, we just got ourselves no chance of picking up that fucking uh, Makado sword or whatever. Not that I was really interested in it, I just don't like not having the ability to get it. It's like the worst freaking carrot on the stick ever. God, that's so fucking annoying. These guys piss me off. You don't want more than one of these fuckers on you. And that red eyes one up there, he's gonna be hell to fight with. at him over there just looking at us. He's waiting. And those guys.
Oh yeah, the way to get over there, there's a there's something back over there near where that nest is. Remember that guy? Well, it's a different version of him. It's uh, I mean, it's the Vanguard, but it's not the Vanguard that did us dirty. Yeah, over here, this is where you can get to that. Let's go up here and get rid of these archers. I don't want them. see there's somebody underneath us there. I think that's the guy who's looking for uh, the Makoto or it could be just a merchant or something. I don't know. Anyways, there's this scrub. Those soul remains there, uh, they're souls, but they're not souls for you to use. They're more, or use as in to level up. They're souls that you throw to draw someone's attention to a location. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Crescent Falchion plus one. That's what it is. Crescent Falchion plus one. G, I don't know.
that's kind of annoying. These guys are making it difficult. Would overburden you? How am I becoming overburdened exactly? I thought I packed up a whole bunch of stuff in order to not be overburdened. Uh, let's drop that stupid shit. Why can't I pick that up? Oh, what do you know? The Uchi Katana.
Those flying manta rays are uh, very fucking annoying. Let's take a look at the Yuji Katana. Alright, so it has a durability of 70 right now, but it also causes bleed. Unfortunately, we can't wield it because we need 13 on the dexterity. Long black blade heavier than it looks. Da da da. Illusionary wall, as you can see. And there should be another illusionary wall around here somewhere. I mean, you can see it. It's just sometimes some of these walls are very cleverly... Alright, so that archer is above us. There. 
And this should be the back side of that large tree with the nests. So, Sparkly, Twinkly, uh, you can drop uh, Agate, or whatever that's called, um, just go to this fucking weird thing, wherever it's at. This. And then I think what you have to do is leave the area and come back, and there should be a different item there. I don't know what the item is, though. Uh, we could try exiting to the main title screen and coming back in and seeing. Sparkly, twinkly, what else? Uh, fuck, I don't know. What else is sparkly, twinkly? Uh, maybe soul remains? Alright. Soul remains, let's exit out and see what that gives us back in return. Maralda. Alright, what do we got here? White arrows. You! Scary! Sparkly! Happy! Happy! More trade? More trade? Give me! Sparkly twinkies! Uh, alright. The fuck else do you want? White sticky stuff, maybe? Yo, you want some of this? No sparkly crap. Okay. Uh. Sparkly, twinkly. What the fuck do you want? You know, we can find out by just going online real quick. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Sparkly, twin, all right, let's see what we got here for trades. Highest point is a tree, also is a double winged hawk girl. Twinkly stuff on the tower which leads to the Lone Skull 
lone skeleton archer and the compound longbow. There is an exit that leads out to the cliff top towards the crow's tree. Da 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 da. Uh, Listen carefully what the crow says. If desired, item is dropped. The crow will acknowledge it happily. If it doesn't like it, just pick it back up. If the crow likes the item, use the start menu, load, current game, Alexis. Uh, the traded item will appear. Uh, the item is given a spark will remain on the ground until... Uh, da, 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 um, you cannot drop multiple items to be exchanged. If you drop an item, say a soul remain, an object of a guidance, only one will be exchanged. It will be dropped or lost. Shall we exchange once per game? Uh, okay, so... Oh, well, shit, I could have dropped one thing at a time. Son of a bitch. Fuck. I could have dropped one at a time, but all I ended up... Soul Remains and Ajite gives me... Ajites? Gives me that. Okay. If I drop some of the... Sh the... The... What do you call it? The shards? Mercury... The stones? I can get healing items. Hey, kitty, what's up? Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah? I don't know if you guys can hear this cat. Uh, let me see. If you give a shard of faint stone, you can get a shard of arch stone. Shard of mercury stone will get me ten full moon grass. Ooh, fuck. A chunk of moonlight stone will get me 40 white arrows. A chunk and then a shard will give me 20. Jade hair ornament would have gotten me the regenerator's ring. Oh, let me click on regenerator's ring. Is that the only way I can get that? There is another way to get it. Okay, so I didn't miss out that one opportunity. Brass telescope will get me the fragrant ring. Fragrant ring? Ring for spice. It recovers MP a little at a time. Extremely rare, extremely delicate piece of handiwork. Okay. large sword of moonlight I could get the ring of devout prayer phosphorant pole ring of magical dullness silver coronet story heroes soul, silver bracelet hey I had one of those didn't I or do I still have it nope I turned it in okay talisman of god I just picked one of those up that'll get me a colorless demon soul Gold coin, ring of uneven scales. Oh, that's in the remake only. Oh, though these ones are just remakes. Okay. Hmm. But I could get healing items if I drop the right, uh, let's see, drop the right stuff. have anything that I can get. Mercury stone, faint stone. Nope, there's really just the mercury stones that'll get me the healing items, and I don't have any. I just turned them all in. Well, that sucks.
Alright, let's go over here and fuck up this archer. So he dropped something, didn't get a chance to see what it is. It's the great axe that's causing us. Okay, I was like, the fuck? You saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you, no? I'm Grave Robber Blige. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? Grave Robber Blige. Talk. This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They've long perished, and now demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead, like skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor, soul-starved humans, right? Better than killing those... What have you? 400, 800... Soul remains, white sticky stuff, uh, cloud stones... Long... Leather armor? No, that's pretty much it. Nothing suits you fancy, well don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. Jackass. Over here. You can see that black one's in there.
these things are annoying. Sup, motherfucker. The Adjudicator Shield, ah oh, yes. This, this thing is very, very interesting. The design of it and all. So this thing increases, or replenishes your health, I believe. But it's the lore and the story behind this thing. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we are. Let's go ahead and, nope, don't do that. Adjudicator Shield, we can, we can wield it. A large wooden shield that depicts a brightly colored scene of the deceased being judged on the other side. An epigram is carved in old script. Cowardly acts and the eating of birds must not be the deeds of a hero of storms. If one being judged displeases the adjudicator's master, the golden crow, the deceased soul will be gnawed upon until nothing but their bones remain. Its user will recover HP a little at a time. But it's, it's so crazy, because like, we will fight the Adjudicator later on. And you'll see this Adjudicator with that golden crow that they were talking about. thing is we won't be able to parry if we put this on. But you see our health is going up slowly. Oh yeah, that was another thing. In this game, you can't go up uh, or down the uh, the ladders fast. Well, I don't know about down, but you can't go up fast. I think that was something that uh, people from Demon Souls complained about was that you move so slow going uh, using the ladders. So you can't can't go fast, and I think you could definitely get hit while going up and down the ladder.
son of a bitch. Oh my god. Hate you. I think there's a ring around here you could pick up. Grave robber's ring. Okay, what does this one do? Become harder for black phantoms to detect. Yeah, so black phantoms will still detect you, but uh... Well, that will be difficult. Actually, I think this goes all the way around. Yeah, here we are, back at the beginning. Regenerator's ring. Alright, what does this one do again? Uh, I think it has something to do with health. Recover a little bit of HP at a time. Shit, <laughs> boy. Uh, so, let's... That some bitch on. And we could probably keep the shield for now, but we do have an option to go back to the uh, to the other shield to parry. This just gives us uh, 
more healing capability. Actually, I would feel a little bit more comf. Eh, well, I mean, we can we can hold this for now. We we'll hold this for now. Now I think there are two, if not one, uh, red eyes motherfuckers over here. Oh, there's one. Okay. How about you? Half moon grass. A little bit of that half moon grass. Let's change this out for those. These dead bodies. People trying to come over here. Now, this is a boss. This is the adjudicator. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think you can roll off the edge and attack from above to do some damage on the adjudicator. But you could only do it once, I believe. It. But this is the adjudicator. Big old gelatinous fat fuck prick. It's kind of hard to see, but up on his head is that golden crow. There it is. And this adjudicator has a has his tongue sticking out and all that because he's been gorging on the people that are being judged. Uh, this adjudicator, his weapons, you got a machete. Uh, I think a machete or some kind of meat cutting weapon. It the one on his left side is broken. The one on his right side is not broken. However, it's the one on his left side, the broken one. You can see that this guy's bleeding all over the place and he's got half of the meat cleaver and it looks like half of a meat cleaver. I don't understand the lore of the story behind this and what happened to how he got that stuck in him and then broken off. I, I don't understand, but I would love to know the lore and the story behind this. How, I, again, I'm guessing this guy's all big and gelatinous because he's been gorging on the souls that have been coming down here, but I don't understand the lore and the story about this right here. About this. This broken uh, machete, meat cleaver, whatever the hell. And why is it in him? And then how did it break off? Did he break it off himself? Or was it in battle or what? And then I also want to know how or why is uh, his face all deformed? Like, you see that? He doesn't really have much of a head. He doesn't really have much of a head. And then how did the crow get up there on his head? That's like crazy. And I don't know if that doot doot sound is uh, the crow making all that stupid sound. I want to guess it is, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, look, you get a real good look at his face there. And there's really not much of a face. <laughs> there really is not much of a face. So how did this how did this come to pass? Like what what happened here? What is the story? This is one hell of a story. 
I mean, just look. He's got, like, guts hanging out of what would have been his mouth. Like, it looks like he has no, no lower jaw, upper jaw. It looks like he has no head at all. Where did that crown come from, too? Like, what is the story about this guy? Like, this is some lore shit right here. This is some real good lore that you can build up, build right here. Look, like, look at all this blood down here. Blood from him, blood from probably the people he was gorging on. Storied soldier right there who didn't make it. Swollen demon soul. Uh, is there a description on these? I bet you there are descriptions on these. Nope, there isn't. Nope, wait, hold up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, soul of the demon vanguard. Nope, wrong guy. Uh, there we are. Soul, uh, grants. Oh, there's not much of a history on them. Damn it. It's not like Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. All right, now, was there anything else over here that I missed? Because I know I just dropped down. Yep, there was. But, by uh, by the way, so facing this guy, right? Ooh, Stone of Thermal Eyes. Facing this guy, if you stay up here, because you would think, like, oh, he's so fat and gelatinous, this fat motherfucker can't get me or anything, that tongue of his he'll use to bring your ass down. Like, it'll... He'll stretch that out and hit you and knock you down. And then, like, you're pretty screwed then. Because that's one hell of a fall. So if you thought you could stay in this floor or even on the upper floor, like, no. He'll he'll send something up there, his tongue, to knock you off. And then it's like, good night, Irene. You know what I'm saying? All right. We have 29,000. And we do have some souls. I would think... We should probably return because I don't know if we're ready for the next uh, segment of this chapter. Let's return to the Nexus. Patch the hyena. Why Patch has got to be such an ass, you know? Uh, world Tendency real quick. Eh, it's brightening up a little bit. We already died once over there, so I don't know about that. And, of course, that one crumbled up world is the world of the giants. So, yeah. Let's go here. Gray demon soul. Let's, yeah, let's use that shit. Only got his 1500 swollen demon. Uh, I don't know of any weapon. To be honest, I, I don't know really much of weapons of what I want to use. So. All right, we're in 40,000. Forty thousand. Use that. All right, we have fifty five. We can go get the ring of Everest, uh, or not get it. I don't know. Uh, let me think. Uh, I actually, let me see. I'll stop the video here. I'll think about it. I, I'm going to go out and get something to eat. I'll come back and we'll, we'll pick back up. But um, the reason why I'm not sure is because I just got the regenerator's ring, which is good. Of course, I have the shield, which is also good. So that's two things that are healing me. 
Uh, they're slowly healing me, but it is what it is. The Ring of Avarice, though, will get us more souls. It really kind of depends if it's worth it or not. Uh, again, I know I was earlier saying, oh, it's totally worth it, get the, get the ring, but things have changed now that I got the Regenerator's ring. And I got 55,000 souls that I can put towards using certain weapons or spend it on the ring and then build back up what I lost uh, for uh, the rest the rest of the playthrough. So there's still a lot left of the playthrough here. But um, I'll figure something out. Something tells me I'm probably going to get the ring and unequip the regenerator's ring and keep the shield out, but then I'm kind of screwed with parrying, because I, I like parrying. Parrying, that's a pretty good thing, so I don't know. It's kind of tough. Uh, of course, I can unequip and equip to heal without having to worry about items. I just got to find me a spot somewhere, right? So that's also an option. Uh, it will make the gameplay a little bit longer, though, because that means I have to disengage out of a fight, move to a location to heal up, and then re-engage. So, there is that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch back with you in a little bit.